when we're talking about instability, uh, I mean, that, that was the, the thing that I had to figure out early on is like, why am I so tight? And, and well, it's because I'm weak. And I said, well, what do you mean you're weak? I, I was a strength and conditioning coach. I played football for 17 years. I was bench pressing 400 pounds, squatting 500 pounds. But the interesting thing was, when I was working out, I had to wear knee wraps and I had to wear a weight belt and I had orthotics. And so I had all of these different uh, artificial devices designed to create stability of my joints. And, but they were basically replacing what the muscles were supposed to do. Because my muscle system was not firing efficiently, I had an instability issue that even though I could produce a lot of force and even though I was strong, I was unstable. So those muscles, those slow twitch motor units are the ones that, are, that basically uh, allow us to maintain upright posture, they provide stability to joints. Those are the muscles that are negatively affected by, by inflammation. And so the slow twitch fibers are the ones that contract and contract on demand and they provide that stability to joints and they st provide stability through motion. And so when we're talking about instability, it's not like, oh, I can't stand on one leg and stabilize or I'm working on scapular stability. It means we have to have firing and contraction of the muscles throughout its full range of motion under load um, at any time there's, there's forces being placed on the body. So stability uh, becomes a key of muscles being able to fire and fire on demand. And so when I talk about the idea of having loose battery cables, when you, when you have altered communication between the nervous system and the muscle system, the muscles just can't fire as efficiently as they're designed to fire, and then they can't do their job to stabilize joints and protect you from injury. That defines the instability issue that we relate to through MAT.